Hey guys, it's the Epic Player 90 here, and we are back for race number 12 of the NR2003 ShopRite Series 2003 season, and it's the Coke 600. And as we have found out over the past week or so, after the Pontiac Excitement 400, two drivers will leave us. That those that will be Casey Mears, who sits sixth in points. He will be replaced full time by James Meteor. So that guy's gonna be a rookie, and he's gonna have lots of ground to make up. And the other one is the highest driver in the series with no top tens, and that is Elliot Sadler, who sits 39th in points. He'll be replaced by full full time by Elliot Monroe. Uh, yeah. Here's the rest of the points. So now the leading rookie is probably going to be Zhang Zina because Mears is not even going to enter. So Gavin Grogu leads by 8, 68 over Jim Sales, 89 over Asher Byer, 97 over Noel, 102 over Harvick, 108 over Mears, 110 over Craven, 111 over Jimmy Reed, and 157 over M Asunji MC. So the top nine all within a race with Jeff Green not too far behind. Here we go. The Coke 600, which is another race I am not looking forward to. Let's see who makes the race. Tom Soul's back after a DNQ. Drivers to your cars. Winford Bradford Rutherford doesn't make it. Oh my god. <laughs> Robbie Gordon is never coming back. Ken Schrader misses another race. Carrie and Landon are back. Let's see who will get the poll. Oh, pause it so we don't get an early skit. Um who do you think is going to get the poll? My guess is probably going to be Christopher Abel. Well, let's find out. Jeff Green beats out Josh Turner by a thousandth of a second. Turner almost got another poll. He got a poll at Fontana. Aaron Abel gets third, of course. Air Drew fourth. Lolo's art fifth. Noel sixth. Asher Byer in 7th, Carrie Earnhardt 8th, James Meteor is going to be in his first start in nine. Wild Jerry Smith will round out the top 10. Elliot Monroe will start 16th in his first start. And the unlucky last placer, James Carson. <laughs> he started last at Richmond and almost won. Drivers. Here we go. We're coming to the green flag. Jeff Green, who got a poll at Atlanta, I think, so this is his second poll, I believe. Well, the leading rookie is going to be Josh Turner, but he could get quickly passed by Aaron Abel in turn one, so this is going to be a great race. Coming to the green, pace cars off, and the Coke 600 is underway now. Green flag is out for Jeff Green. As Jeff Green will lead us off. <clears throat> oh! Green gets dumped by Abel! Oh man, Abel's around! No caution! But he comes up on. <laughs> Big wreck on the first lap! Oh my goodness! And leading back to the caution, it's Asher Byron and Eric Drew goes around after the caution. What? Oh, JoJo just nailed him. Oh my goodness, Harris Wales destroyed. What is going on? Where's, okay, first we gotta check out Aaron Abel. Abel, almost, oh man, he almost turned Jeff Green. Oh my gosh, I can't click the pause button. Here, let's check out this view here. He goes on the inside, Lolozar forces him up, and then Lolozar just dumps him there. Meanwhile, this 30 car just decides to just go up into the, oh man. Elliot Monroe and James Meteor involved. Meanwhile, this happened. Eric Drew just 
had a horrible, and then JoJo comes in and just nails him, and Harris Wales comes in right after. But what happened to Drew anyway? Why do you wreck? He comes. Oh, Noel got in him there, and then he hits carry. Looks like we got pitters. Uh, this is gonna be a horrible. Oh my gosh, 80 laps of doom. Ward Burton looks like he's the only one to stay out. Harris Wales is literally destroyed. Gonna fall in points more, probably. Turner stays in the second spot. Oh my good gosh. Looks like Jet Meme left for overheating, okay. Josh Turner. I'm surprised he's not out. We got a lot of cars out. Look at that. Already over 20 cars out from that. 20 are left. Harvick is the only one to lap down. So, see where your driver is. If he retired, that is unfortunate for Nanrep. Oh my gosh, Jimmy Reed, three straight DNS. Did Grogu retire? Yes, he did. He also retired. So, Jim Sales is probably going to take the points lead if he keeps doing good because he's right over there. He is 11th. Wow, who was third? I think it was Byron who's sitting here. So, the points is going to switch for the first time in a while. Probably at the end of this race. So your top five, Ward Burton, Daytona 500 winner, Josh Turner, Fred, Noel, Asher Byron, Sterling Marlin, oh, yeah, six, Brett Bodine, seven, what, Craven, eighth, Jarrett, ninth, Chev, tenth, and then here's just the rest of the field, Luke Anderson somehow still in, Jean Zena made it through, I saw it, but barely, ORT Racing as well, so we already, we only have, Aaron Abel still in, we got four rookies left as, James Meteor just got destroyed. Green flag is out for Ward Burton as the 29 is extremely slow. Look how many cars, man. Got passed. Wow. As Ward Burton leads, have, we have yet to get a green flag lap in. And, oh goodness. I thought Noel was going to get turned there. As some guys are falling a bit back. Fred to the inside of Josh Turner. The 2, 12, and 22 in the top three. Turner's in the wall. We got some guys skimming in. We got Aaron Abel getting around, getting turned. And collects Luke Anderson, of course. Michael, uh, ORT Racing turns him. I don't, I think they're still racing back to the caution. Yes. Byron is getting a push from Josh Turner as they're racing back to the caution. They're side by side. Asher Byron. Looks like he's going to do it. Asher Byron will win back to the caution. I said that really funny. And now... Oh, that was framed. Now we're going to see what happened to ORT Racing because his hood is messed up. Oh, Harvick just... Oh, no. Oh, he barely clipped him, too. Harvick just... Yeah. Abel caught the cause of another caution right away. He, I don't know... If he'll be out the race. I know the 7 might be. Fred is... Oh, they're pitting. Okay. Again. <laughs> we might have another pit cycle. Okay, looks like Fuel League on Aaron Abel. So he will retire. He was guaranteed at least 19. So a top 20 for him. Because that happened. Fast slap is after Byron. But that might change because of all the cars left. I think it's going to be good racing once there's like 15 cars left. <laughs> Oh, I really hope 2004 isn't like this. Tr sorry, this is probably going to be the only season like this. Guys coming now, who's out first? Jim Sales, the Martinsville winner, is going to be out first. Josh Turner continues to stay second. Jean Zena's third. Ward Burton fourth. Noel fifth. Andretti sixth. What? Terry Earnhardt's still in here. Landon Weeks was in this race, but he's going to finish 31st because of the stupid lap one wreck. Okay, we're coming to the green flag. Jim Sales looking for his second win of the season. Looking to become the first signed up driver to have two wins. As the only signed up drivers to win are Jimmy Reed, Jim Sales, um, Eric Drew, and Noel. Green flag is out for Jim Sales now. He gets a better jump than Josh Turner does. 
as there's a quick update, he's not on the track anymore, but James Carson will not be a leech in the uh, Whole Food series. He switched it to his sister Lenny Carson will be the 33. As there will be a test session coming up in the next few weeks because I have got all the signups for that season. It's complete. Now we got out of the, that out the way. Josh Turner is going to go for the lead on Jim Sales. Almost three wide behind them. They're, they're definitely three wide behind them. I'm surprised they haven't wrecked. That was our first green flag lap of the day on lap 12. Or I don't know if it was second or not. Tom Sloan looking for the inside of Zhang Zin is going to not wreck theirs. Jeffrey Chev moves up to second with Jarrett. Jarrett finally having a good run right now as he sits really low in points. But Josh Turner leads the way here. Three wide with Carrier and Hart in the middle. See, I told you those laps might change. Asher Byron still has the fastest one. And Dreddy almost got turned by Tom Sloan there. He DNQ'd Richmond, so he really need, needed a good run. As Andretti has no black bumper. As Jarrett goes for the lead on Josh Turner. Dale Jarrett. He has no laps led, and he's going to lead his first lap here at Charlotte, or Lowe's, or whatever you want to call it. Carrie Earnhardt in the top five, but he's again in the middle of the three wide action. Turner's going to line up behind him. Oh, he slid up. Brepo dying and Noel making contact. Ooh, he almost got turned there. Brepo dying was l lucky to not wreck there as Dale Jarrett continues to lead. Four wide, here comes Noel. Oh, and hard in the wall goes Chev. He collects Carrie Earnhardt. No one else involved. Josh Turner might have gotten a little skim. I don't know if Jarrett got back to the line. I think he got back to the line, yeah. Jarrett, Dale Jarrett will win back to the caution. While Carrie Earnhardt gets up. Noel just forced it four wide as he went under Brett Bodine there. And Jeffrey Chev, oh, just no room. And then Craven just... No, what happened to the 83 car? Oh, what? Craven and Marlin just spun. And Carey just had nowhere to go. Let's go on board with Marlin, who had a weird turn of events. On board with Sterling Marlin. There's the wreck in front of him. Craven with no back bumper. He just turns him here for some reason and it collects Carey. Luckily, Josh Turner made it in as we are back in time for pit stops because I'm really slow. I'm very surprised Brett Bodine is still in this race. Jeffrey, has anyone called it quits? Jeffrey Chev has. Terry Earnhardt doesn't have a, too much damage, so he's going to keep going. And the first one out is Dale Jarrett. Brett Bodine is second. Uh, Noel third, Asher Byron fourth, and Andretti's fifth. What? This is a funky group of drivers we still have here. After those two, those first two caught, uh, first caught that first caution. Go ahead, go ahead. That first caution, um, seemingly gonna have good racing as those laps of green flag were actually pretty good. Cause we're gonna be going green on lap number twenty. Green flag is out. I missed a bit, but. Jared keeps the lead. They almost wrecked behind him. Art and Marlin and Zena almost got tangled. They're going three wide. Brett Bodine got past. Jared's pitting for some reason. Jared goes into pit road. Sales is in the wall. Craven. Oh, Sloan and Fred almost just got dumped there. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh, they're wrecking behind them. Craven's in the wall. He's okay. Carry has, I don't know why Jarrett's in the pits. Noel will lead, followed by Brett Bodine and Asher Byron. Jarrett must have ran out of fuel or something. I don't know what happened to that guy. There's only a total of four, 15 cars out on track as Jarrett getting lapped. Brett Bodine slid up way high there. There's Noel looking for back to back wins as he's leading. Here at Richmond after a late race pass on James Carson at Richmond to get his first win of the season and career. 
but he's got Asher Byron hunting him down. He nearly won Martinsville and Fontana, so this Brett Bodine has some issue. He's going definitely way slower than the competition as Tom Sloan moves up to, I believe that's fourth place. Oh, him and Brett Bodine! Into the wall goes the four and he spins in front of the field. Oh, big wreck. What? I thought he was going to keep going. Tom Sloan's definitely done. Jarrett, that's exactly what he wanted. He's just going to easily make it through there. As the winner back to the caution is going to be Noel. Oh, man. That four car is going to be definitely out. Unless he somehow fixes that car, which he's not. What happened there? Brett Bodine just slid up again into the 11, uh, four car and then just... What? Nowhere to go as Bodine did not get that much. Oh, never mind. He did get a lot of damages. Wow. Lolo's art. Man. Because all these guys are pitting. Oh my gosh. We're going to have like. We lit. Oh, Zhang Zina just retired and so did Lolo's art. <laughs> Dude, I bet the top 10 are going to be the only ones left at the end of this race. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I mean, but at least it's not a caution every single lap like it was at Richmond and Bristol and, um, what's the other track? Uh, Martinsville. But Dover's the next track, so I have a feeling that's going to be, like, the one of the great races of the season. As Jarrett's already out, wanting to get that lap back. Yet there's Tom Sloan officially calling it quits, but he's guaranteed a top 15 because of all the cars that died. Craven's a lap down, but I think he's just gotten to... No, he's, he actually is. So, first out on track is Asher Byron, who comes back as this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. No, oh, literally only the top 10 are left, and Brett Bodine's 11th. Only the top 10. Is this turn 2? Yep. Green flag as I missed another bit. Oh my gosh, Fred and Noel almost turn Craven. Fred's getting loose. He's getting dumped. Hard in the wall goes the 25 and the 2. Sales keeps going like it's nothing. Fred is destroyed. Did the caution come out? Caution is out, yes. Dale Jarrett will get his lap back. Wow, Asher Byron had his one to the caution. Dang it, I barely was able to catch that. Yeah, now here's the every lap caution. So for some reason, this... Oh, gosh, I forgot about that. So Fred went to the inside here. We only get limited footage. And then look. Oh, this is... Oh, he hits Marlin and then gets clipped by Turner and hard in the wall. Gets some air. But Sales just keeps going like it's nothing. Some guys staying out. Turner and Andretti. And Byron. Jared got his lap back. Wow, this is retarded. We're literally just over a quarter into the race, and we already have only 10 cars left. What is the Hunger Games? Trust me, the 2004 Coke 600 um, is going to be way better, because I didn't... This is Remember, I've only had NR 2003 for a few months, and I did not know that the opponent's strength affected the AI this bad. Okay, don't blame me. But... Yeah, this is the only season with this much aggression. Keep in mind. Green flag, and I missed it again. Oh, gosh, I keep missing it. Byron leads. I'm going to just stop that. As Andretti fell way back. Jarrett's in the wall, and around goes Noel. Uh, everyone dodges him. Oh, even Carey dodged him. Is the caution out? Yes. Byron will lead again. They pit, and who cares? Green flag is out as I was able. That's fine. Oh my gosh, they're four wide. And Byron gets turned. Byron gets turned into the wall in the back stretch. No caution because he was off the track. Craven's pitting. Marlin will be the leader, followed by Fred, Jim Sales, Josh Turner, Noel. Andretti and Jarrett and Carrie Earnhardt. As Craven and Byron are pitting. We don't need to. I, I don't have time to literally go back. 
Marlon has a big lead, but the pack is chasing him down. Seven tenths before. Let's see what they are now, as Josh Turner is definitely catching Marlon. Let's see what it, what it is. It is Noel gets second there. Five tenths. So they're half a second back. See Jim Sales making it through Rex as Craven's coming back out on track. I'm surprised Josh Turner's not out. Looking for his first top five of the season. He's guaranteed a top ten because there's only ten cars out on track. So that this is going to be his second top ten. Andretti, I think this would be his first. Noel has definitely caught Sterling Marlin, who led late at Talladega on field strategy, but ended up coming 13th or something. As Noel has shortened it to about 2 tenths, and Josh Turner not too far behind him. As Jared's going to make a pass on Andretti as well. That was actually the halfway point. Um, Noel to the inside. Josh Turner pushing Noel. And Marlon will lead that lap, but Noel will take the lead unless Turner's going to force the 12 up the track. Yep, he does. Here comes Turner to the inside. Who has minimal right side damage. And Turner's going to take the lead unless he has draft help, which he doesn't. But he's going to take the lead. Marlon's going to go to the inside. Jarek's catching them too. He's within a second. Turner will lead the lap. As Byron is out back, back out on track. Kerry Earnhardt has lots of damage. As Turner stretches out his lead and Noel's way up the track. And so is Jarek and everyone else. Josh Turner leads at Charlotte. Got the pole at Auto Club. Wreck, uh, he didn't wreck out. He just had an engine issue and could not finish the race and finished 40th. Best finish was 10th at Daytona, leading 11 laps, which was the most of the race. And has his best finish since then is, I believe, 18th or 16th or something. So a win here would definitely help him in points as he's sitting 35th after Richmond, I believe. As Noel goes to the inside of Sterling Marlin for second. Jarrett also joined this pack of the top four. And Dreddy not too far behind. While Fred and Jim Sales, they wrecked earlier. So, oh, Marlin's in the wall. Marlin is in the wall hard. No caution. Let's take a really quick look at that. He, oh, Jarrett just sent it on him. And bam, into the wall goes the 40 car. No cautions out on track, but Jarrett's definitely going to lose time. Marlon stays in fourth as Andretti was not able to catch him. Josh Turner is running away with the lead, though. Noel is trying to catch him. Who has the fastest lap? Asher Byron continues to have the fastest lap. Wow, some guys didn't even finish a lap. Fernan Rev, John Will, Jerry Smith, Gavin Grogu, the points leader, Logan Revler, and Christopher Abel did not even compete in a lap. Some guys were able to make it to the finish line. Yeah, but the only ones that have gotten lap times that are actually normal are the top 16, maybe 17, as Harvick had a really slow car. I believe Noel is catching uh, Turner a bit. Let's go on board with the 12 car. Let's see if he can gain any time. He's two tenths last lap. At the line. Yeah, I lost a bit. Harry Earnhardt might be last traffic because of his speed. He's topping around 175, 176 area. And he can't even hit 180 on the back stretch, so he's definitely going to be an issue if the caution does not come out. Harry is a lap down, actually. Craven's two laps down, while 
Ash of Iron is three laps down. As you can see him all the way over there, that, that little car is racing around. And Jared's definitely not catching him. He's like a second behind him. And then three seconds back, basically, is Marlon, who's fourth. We just completely got dumped by Jarrett. As Oh! Fred almost gets turned by Jim Sales. Jim Sales, looking for the sixth spot, is going to take it away from Fred. That was a little aggressive, if you ask me. That was something. Man, as he's going to take the spot right back. That's kind of embarrassing. There's no elk. Just can't catch the 42 car. This car is just really good. But here's Carrie Earnhardt. Carrie Earnhardt, is he going to stay out the way? He's going to stay on the outside. Noel's going to get around him too, but he might cause problems for Jarrett. Yeah, he's going to definitely cause an issue for Dale Jarrett. I think Jarrett caught him a bit. Yeah, he's going to get around the 83 car. He's guaranteed a top 10. He's a rookie, too. Josh Turner, the leading rookie. The only other rookie in the race is Kerry Earnhardt, who is sitting 8th. Jean Zena is, was 12th. Aaron Abel was 18th. And James Meteor was somewhere 36th. Noel definitely lost time there. He lost about 10. Jarrett's a second back. Dale Jarrett. Wow, what a dumb race this is. Pit road speed is 45? What? NASCAR record 28.96 by Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's broken because this game came out like 20 years ago. Anyway, Josh Turner continues to lead. He's definitely going to lead the most laps if he can keep this up as he's literally pulling away from Noel. Dodge, Dodge, Ford. Dodge and Dodge. So, Dodges are pretty much dominating this race right now as they are taking up four of the top five spots. Oh man, no one's gonna get the fastest lap of uh... 21.0. No, 27.406 by Asher Byron. Who knows when that was. Marlon comes down in the pit road. So the pit window might be now. He's the only one, though. He might take longer, though, because of his damage. So he's going to lose spots. So, a l less than a half second back is no L. A second back is Jarrett. Seven seconds back is Andretti. Noel and Jim Sales are like 11 seconds back while Marlon has got lapped. Uh, Carrie Earnhardt is two laps down. Ricky Craven's two laps down. And Asher Byron is three laps down. As whoa, Noel definitely caught him a bit that lap. Oh, Turner slides up high. His turners might be taking a toll on him. Who's going to get into the pits first? Or are they both pitting this lap? Not this time. This Turner will keep the lead and he's going to get a run off the corner. Look at that run. Two tenths, two and a half tenths. Wow, big battle here. Two lap cars are going to get around another lap car. Is that for position? Yeah, Craven. Gets around Carrie Earnhardt for position. Jim Sales went into pit road and Fred did as well. So they are a lap down. When are they pitting? No one knows. Noel really needs a good pit stop if he wants to get out in front of Turner. Um, Andretti somewhere. Andretti just came down to pit. So the top three should be coming in 
this lap or next lap because Jarrett's within a second now. Noel right on Turner's bumper. But Fred's going to cut, cause an issue here as Turner, I think, is pitting. Turner is pitting indeed as Noel and Jarrett stay out. Jarrett just hit the wall. Noel, I... Wow. Um... Turner's going to pit. Let's see how fast his pit stop is. Noel continues to lead. I believe he's pitting. Yeah, they're both pitting. Dale, Jarrett, and Noel come in on lap 61 with 20 to go. Turner just came out, I think. No, that's him. He's all the way in the second pit stall. No, uh, Jared not qualified that, but neither did Andretti. What? Turner's out. Turner's gone. Um, who's the leader now? I believe it's gonna be Andretti. Actually, I'm not sure. Oh no, he's coming in again. Andretti must have an issue. He's coming in again. He's gonna get passed by Marlin and Jim Sales, while Fred lost tons of positions. Fred lost an entire lap to Jim Sales. Turner actually might be the leader. Jarrett comes out and Noel's already off the track, so I don't know. Where's Turner? Here he is. Does Turner have enough speed? Where's the 12 car? Oh, he's pretty. He's 50 miles per hour faster. Here comes Josh Turner. Can he get to the 12? I don't think he's gonna. I think the 12 had the better strategy. Yes, he did. I mean, there's still a speed difference, but nope. Noel will take the lead. Jarrett comes out really late. As Jim Sales moves up from being about 20 seconds back. And now he is going to be... Um, 4, 13 seconds back in third. Can Turner catch Noel now? That's the question with less than 20 to go. Terry Earnhardt comes out of the pits again. As Craven's now the lowest car in 10th. Carey's 9th, but that might change. Yeah, Carey's 10th now. Byron's a lap down in 8th. Andretti pit again, so he's 7th. Fred, no, Fred 7th, sorry. Andretti 6th. 5th is Jarrett. 4th is Marlon, who's going for 3rd on Jim Sales. Oh, oh, jeez, Andretti almost turned him. I think Turner is catching Noel. I can't tell, though. I think Turner has draft, so he could catch him easier, but anything can happen within these final 15 laps to go. 15 to go. He lost a bit. Oh, man. Turner definitely led way more laps. It's Jim Sales, the top, the top, uh, third and fourth are really battling it out right now. As Andretti is... He was fourth for a while, but he just could not keep up. He had to pit again for some reason. Same with Jarrett. Jarrett fell 17 seconds behind the leader. Turner's losing time, actually. Four tenths now. Yeah, look at the speed difference. He's, a, he's ahead. Sterling Marlin sits third. He did indeed fix some damage, and it did help in his favor as he's in front of Jim Sales for the third spot. He would have been in fourth had Andretti not pit again. As someone just pit, Asher Byron's back in the pit road. From the eighth spot, he's going to fall back to ten. 
because yeah. Jarrett comes back. Jarrett with the late charge. He's going to move up to third as the frame rate just dropped. Uh, Jarrett moves up to third after being in fifth for a long time. Sales having trouble catching up. I don't know what just happened with my frame rate, dude. My frame rate is so dumb. Whoa, it tanked, dude. It got 20. Turner's carry in heart is in the way. Yeah, he had to slow down. That's a big news for Noel as Turner's going to get around him. 10 to go. As oh Man, I'm sorry. I don't know why the frame rate just drops like this, man. Noel continues to lead. Talk about Craven, he's sitting pretty high in points. I think he was fifth or something last time I checked. So this is gonna make him closer to the points lead than ever before. Noel was the points leader for a bit, uh, but then he lost it after Bristol. He fell down. Oh, someone just hit the wall. What just happened? I don't know, but someone clipped the wall. I think Turner might have. Let's see. Yeah, he did. Turner's trying desperately to get into Noel's lead. This is going to be heartbreaking for Josh Turner. He's a second back. That Kerry Earnhardt struggle, struggling to get past him, really cost him. As Jarrett is moved up to third, looking for his first top 10 of the season, which he's definitely going to get due to how many cars are left out on track. Man. Yeah, unfortunately the frame rate dropped. For Nanrev, every time he starts, he gets like last every week. He's, that's tough. He's like 44th or something in the standing. I think Noel's got this. Five to go. Unless he runs out of fuel, which will be... That will be something to see right there. Josh Turner. Two seconds behind now. You can't even see him from this point of view here. Two seconds. Jim Sells just could not catch back up. He was sitting third for a bit, but this oh, he couldn't keep up with Marlon. Neither with Jarrett, because Jarrett's just OP. Because I think Asher Byron's got the fastest lap covered. He's actually chasing down Carrie Earnhardt. That's actually for position, so he's actually faster. So he's probably going to get ninth because Carey's so slow because Byron went into the pits multiple times. As Noel continues to extend his lead with three laps to go. Coming to two to go. If he runs out of fuel, that'd be something. Um, He's slowing down a bit. Two to go for Noel. Looking for back-to-back -back wins. Where's Turner? Yeah, look at that. Two and a half now. Byron has gotten past Kerry Earnhardt, so he will take ninth place while Kerry continues to chill in 10th. 
while Dale Jarrett is 17, basically 18 seconds back. Final lap, one to go in the Coke 600 for Noel. He's got a three-second lead on Josh Turner, who continues to fall back. So the only what, the only thing Josh Turner can hope for is if Noel runs out of fuel right now. I don't think it's gonna happen. Does Noel have enough fuel to come off the final corner? He is. Noel's gonna come off the final corner and take his second win of the season back to back at Charlotte. Look at that Turner. Lost three like an entire second that lap. And there it is. Jarrett third, Marlon fourth, sales fifth, and Dreddy sixth. Fred, 7th, 8th is Craven, ninth is Byron, 10th is Carrier and Hart. As the points lead has swapped, but let's check out the results. Josh Turner did in... No, Noel led 26 laps. Turner only led 20. Asher Byron with 14, 8 for Marlin, 4 for Ward, 3 for Sales, 3 for Brett, 2 for Jarrett. Wow. 6 cautions for 24 laps. 12 lead changes over 8 drivers. Wow. Jarrett started 31st. Brett Bodine started 40th and gets 11th. What? Well, after that snooze fest, basically. Hopefully Dover will be good. That's a race I'm looking forward to. Jim Sales takes the lead by 4 points over Noel. Jim Sales has the most top 10s at 7. And 2 DNFs only. Byron only 38 points back. Grogu is 46 back. Craven 60 back. Harvick is uh 91 back. 112 back is Reed and Zena. 169 back takes over leading rookie with the highest guy in seven DNFs. Sun GMC is exactly 185 back. As Casey is officially out of the series, he will be 13th after that race, but See where your driver is. Now the highest driver with no top 10s is other than Sadler. Other than Benson. Fernan Revan, 44th. So everyone could get a top 10 this season. Meteor is going to be 57th. While Monroe, 56th. So let's see how that happens. As the laps completed has changed again, Jim Sales at 676. Has the laps lead counter changed yet? No, Bobby Labonte continues to have that more, have that edge. Because there's a lot of cars with laps lead and some don't. It's these guys. Most of those guys are new. But yeah, that's what happened after Charlotte. I hope you like this video. Keep in touch for Dover. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the